Hey guys, what's up? This is Stephanie in Nashville and I am coming to you today with a quick um, foundation basics slash tutorial. I'm going to do kind of a mini review of the products that I'm currently using while I'm using them. So I'm here sans makeup and um, here's what I start out with. I use the Clean and Clear Pore Finishes um, I'm sorry, Finishes Pore Perfecting Moisturizer that's oil free. This is only like $7 in the store and I'm really, really enjoying it. This is my third tube of this. Um, it has an SPF and it's not the most emollient feeling moisturizer when you put it on your face. It actually is a little thick, but it seems to hold my makeup on a little longer. Well, I wouldn't really say hold it on, but it doesn't fall off like it would with some other moisturizers. So I really like this for the daytime, probably not overnight or on days when I'm not going to wear makeup. I like something else. And then I also have on a little bit of the L'Oreal Studio Secrets. Um, this is a primer and this is pretty good. It's not my favorite primer. I, I still don't have a favorite primer. Um, but I would buy that again if it was on sale, probably. And I'm going to do a quick rundown of the products I'm going to use. Uh, really quickly so you can know whether you want to stay tuned. First I'm going to start with the Boots number 7 uh, mousse for my foundation. I'm going to do a little Laura Mercier pressed mineral powder and I'm going to use a little bit of the Palladio rice powder. My concealer is the Maybelline Dream Mousse and I've got a few brushes here. I've got the Sephora stippling brush. I have got a uh, Kabuki from Bare Essentials. I have a flat top brush from e.l.f. Um, I have a generic Beauty Secrets that I use for my concealer. And this is an old fluffy brush from Elizabeth Arden that uh, doesn't have a name, but I like it for under eye powder. So, um, here I go. Now, I have been using this Boots Number no. 7. Uh, it's called the Mousse Foundation. I'm in number 10, New Ivory, and I've been using this for a while. I don't know if you can see in here, it's very fluffy, just like any kind of mousse. Um, I love the mousse foundations. I think that they give a really, really nice finish, but what I will say about them is that they're not particularly long-wearing. This is in a glass jar, um, and I really like the packaging, except for the fact that I do like to use this e.l.f. brush sometimes, but it's a little too big to go in. So I've been using my stippling brush which works out wonderful. Only it's a little smaller so it takes a little more time. So here I go. You can see I have a little bit of redness, rosacea. Out of the screen there. This is a new time. Um, this is the first time I've filmed with this particular setup, usually at my table, but I thought I would try it this way. I have to remember to stay in the frame. Okay, so you can see that was a really fast application. I might take a little more time if I wasn't doing that on film. But you can see that it's got a really, really nice finish. It's very, very velvety, and I like that a lot. I've also used the Dream Whip mousse, and I'm a fan of that. Um, I know L'Oreal has a new mousse out, and I think I'm going to try that next. Uh, really, really great stuff. So next, what I like to do is I like to take the Palladio Rice Powder. Now this is very, very affordable. This is the translucent. This is the translucent. 
Um, I know they have it in a darker shade, but it would be too dark for me. Now, I bought this because I heard it was a nice dupe for the Benefit Powder Flage. Um, and it is very, very finely milled, so it's wonderful under the eye. And that's really almost all I use it for, is under the eye. I've tried this as an all over, and it's okay. But I particularly like it because of its fine, fine milledness. No, that's not a word. You know, I'm realizing that I forgot to do my concealer. I'm not actually having to use a lot of concealer right now. I don't have any blemishes. But if I was using it, I would take the mousse concealer. I really like this stuff. And um, I might go in the corners of my nose a little. And maybe on my chin a bit. This is fantastic and quite affordable. I would definitely recommend this for a concealer. Now, for a long time, my Holy Grail powder, my, this is actually, a, I think it's actually a foundation. It's the Mineral Pressed Powder SPF 15 from Laura Mercier. And my color is Real Sand. And you can see I've hit pan on that um, a number of times. So I just use, I like to use this to set And I particularly like this Buki brush that I have. It is from Bare Essentials, the Buki brush is. And I also have a backup of this that I use for powder application. Okay, so that is my foundation basics routine. Um, trying to think if I have anything else to say about any of these products. I really recommend them all. Laura Mercier um, Pressed Mineral Powder SPF 15 is my holy grail. I love it, love it, love it. I know a lot of people like the loose powder. I prefer the pressed. I just think it travels better. Loose powders are, I don't know, I'm not crazy about them. They're so messy. Um, Boots number seven. This is wonderful. The big issue that I take with this is that it's not particularly long wearing and it doesn't come in a lot of shades and it's not or it doesn't seem to be at every target. I had to go to three different targets before I found this. So there's that. My Dream Mousse Concealer is in Light Fair. The Handy Buki Brush is great. The Stippling Brush is great. This e.l.f. brush, I know a lot of people love it. Mine is uh, loose, so um, I think I might could pull it off and fix it with some glue, but I haven't done that yet. But it is a nice brush. It's very, very soft. I don't know if you can see that, but it's very, very soft. So, there you go.